Hi all folks, this is Max from uh, OneXRoot.com. So today we're going to go uh, unlock the bootloader on our rooted AT&T uh, 1X um, and uh, also install Clockwork Mod Recovery um, and also reboot it. Um, so first, what you want to do is uh, connect your phone to your computer. Oops. There you go. Um, use it as a disk drive, connect it, and let's go to our computer real quick. Next, go ahead and download uh, this file called 1xroot att.zip. It'll have all the files you need there. Um, you'll find all these fi files. Uh, let's copy over the CWM as super SU. We'll need this later, so do a copy and uh, go to uh, um, your 1x uh, internal storage here. You can uh, copy it anywhere here. I'm going to put it in my download folder, paste it. Um, so there you go. I have that file in there. And then uh, let's go back to our phone. Um, next, you can uh, go back here and uh, set it to charge only mode now. All right. Charge only. I hit done. And then go to settings. Um, and uh, go to developer options and make sure USB debugging is checked on like that if it's not check it on and also um, you do have to have a rooted phone somehow you have to get root um, the instructions are on my site I know the latest I think software version 1.85 or yeah a5 or something it um, you can't root it yet um, so hopefully I'll find another method but um, this method is for those of you who root it uh, without unlocking your bootloader um, so next uh, you've got to connect to your computer let's go back to our computer and now we're going to open up a terminal prompt um, what we're going to do is basically uh, rewrite the CID to um, eight ones um, that way you can actually use the HCC uh, dev unlock method to unlock your bootloader for the AT&T version. Rogers and uh, Telus and the other versions you don't have to, but for the AT&T version you have to do this extra step. So go ahead and go to, um, go to uh, let's see if your drivers are installed. If you're using Windows, you will need to check uh, your drivers. Go to Control Panel, Hardware and Sound, Device Manager, and here you should see something like uh, ADB interface there, and under it you should see My ACC. Um, if you see Android uh, AD, Android 1.0 with the exclamation mark, simply uh, double click it, do update driver, uh, browse my computer for my software, and then do let me pick from a list of drivers, choose uh, show all devices, and browse to the directory where you unzip the driver files. I'll have the driver files for 32-bit and 64-bit windows, and let's say you've got the 64-bit, unzip that uh, that file and you get a bunch of folders and you just um, point it to that, hit OK and you should have an option for HCC Sync to install it. I'm, I was just using that as an example but you should do the one with the Android 1.0. Um, so you got the driver installed, you're all good to go. Next go to uh, Start, Search Programs Files and type CMD. This will open up a terminal. Um, you can also use Linux or Mac, just open up a terminal instead of a uh, command prompt. And here we're going to type cd 1x, oops, cd downloads, downloads. If you hit tab, it'll fill it in for you after you hit do. And then hit cd 1x root att, like that. And here we're going to type uh, add shell, and then type su. This will give us uh, super user permission, as you can see, the marked by the uh, sharp sign and uh, if you don't get that you don't have your phone rooted you'll have to go root it instructions are on my site um, and next what you want to type is uh, this dd if equals dev block mmc blk 0 p4 of equals slash sd card slash mmc blk 0 p4 um, this basically uh, mmc blk 0 p4 is a partition block in your phone, it's like a uh, part of your hard disk, and we're just co copying into a file in the SD card, and we're going to modify it so we can change the CID 
That way we can unlock the bootloader on the AT&T uh, 1X. So hit enter and you should get a transferred successful sign there. Um, next we're going to type exit, exit and you're going to type ADB uh, space pull space slash SD card MMCBL K0P4. The file we just copied to the SD card, we're going to pull it into our computer. Uh, and then that's done. Um, and next, you'll need a uh, some kind of hex editor. You can download, um, just go Google it. Go Google for open source uh, hex editor. There should be one for Windows, Mac, and Linux. Um, I've just downloaded a random one. It's called the FRHDED. Um, you can use this one. I'll have links to download links to this and maybe um, Mac and Linux. So check for that. Um, use any kind of hex editor and open that file you just pulled from your phone, uh, which should be under Downloads um, 1x root ADT, and you'll find that MMCBAK 0p4. Open that file in your hex editor and go ahead and go down all the way to. Um, where you see CWS underscore zero zero one like that. All right, we're gonna change this whole thing, this thing to ones. Okay, so I'm just gonna go here, hit one 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 one. I think that's eight ones. One two three four five six seven. Eight. All right, and uh, when that's done, just click uh, File Save As, and put uh, MMC BLK zero P four. Uh, put MOD like that, big MOD. That way we have a uh, the original copy and the the modded file in case just in case you need to go back unroot it, you can use that, um, or you can use RUU also. So that's done. Um, let's go back to our command prompt here, and we're gonna type uh, basically this ADB space push space uh, mmcblk 0p4 mod we're gonna push basically copy the file back to the your SD card as a, a file called mmcblk 0p4 mod alright and now that file is in your SD card of your phone or, or the internal storage um, next you want to type adb shell to get back into shell and type su to get super user access and next, we're gonna actually overwrite that new new file to the partition by typing dd if sd card slash mmcblk zero p four mod uh, of equal dev block mmcblk. This just means we're gonna copy that file in sd um, the internal storage to the partition. So you will have a new CID, um, and you'll be able to unlock the bootloader. Hit enter. All right, and type adb reboot uh, bootloader. Oh, and I forgot to tell you, um, if you're using Mac or Linux, everything we're doing here, oh, sorry, before that, sorry, 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 oh, you have to exit out of it first. Um, exit, exit. Um, for Linux or Mac, before you began, you should have typed uh, chmod 755 star to change the permissions. You only have to do that once. And for all the ADB commands, you have to replace all the ADB with ADB-Mac or ADB-Linux. Um, and everything is the same for uh, for fastboot, fastboot dash Mac, and uh, fastboot dash Linux. So you have to change those commands. Uh, I have uh, detailed instructions on my site, so just go follow that, and you should be all good to go. Um, so next, we're gonna type adb reboot bootloader. This will reboot our phone into the bootloader. Um, so let me press enter. There. And it will reboot you into the bootloader. Yeah, it's gonna take it a second here. There you go. That's the bootloader. Um, next, we're gonna type uh, fastboot space oem space read cid. All right, and you should get uh, seven or eight ones. Um, that's the one we just changed, and then you're all good to go. Um, now you can unlock the bootloader. So type fastboot space oem space get identifier um, token like that. And this will give you the token that you'll need. Um, for Windows, do a right click mark and copy all the way from the start of the arrow 
to the end of the arrow exactly like that don't copy any of the white spaces and do a right click for Linux or Mac um, you can probably just select it and do a right click and copy all right and next we're gonna go to uh, the site called hccdev.com all right and go ahead and register um, and log in if you didn't register go ahead and do that and once you've logged in go down to uh, unlock bootloader hit get started um, next go to where you can see select your device just choose uh, all other supported models at the bottom um, that's fine and hit begin bootloader begin bootloader um, if sometimes this happens where you can't unlock it just open another window um, let's go back to the back to the home page, unlock bootloader, get started, uh, select it again, um, hit begin unlock bootloader, um, you might have to log in and log back out, because I was doing it already once, that's probably why it's all funky, uh, let's go back to the home page, hit begin unlock bootloader, get started, And select your device, all other supported models, hit begin unlock bootloader. There you go. I got the message. I had to log out and log back in if you have trouble. Um, do you still wish to continue? Say yes. And it'll give you an option, uh, legal terms, just say yes. And proceed to unlock instructions. And then here you can go all the way down. You can skip all this. We already did it. Proceed to step five. Go all the way down to proceed to step eight. Go all the way down um, to my device identifier token. Do a right click paste um, and uh, that's pretty much it. Hit submit and it'll say token submit is successfully. If you don't get this, that means you didn't copy it over the, the, the code right. So make sure you do it again and try again. Um, next go check your email and you'll probably have um, the email from ACC giving you the unlock code.bin. Um, simply do download, all right. Oops. Hold on. Simply do download, all right, and then it'll download it. Um, do show in folder, and do a right-click copy, and go copy it to the one x um, directory. Where is it? One x root att dot uh, att directory, where all the files are. Do a right-click. Paste uh, so you have the unlock underscore code dot bin. Next, go ahead and uh, go back to the command prompt, and uh, we're going to type um, this to unlock our bootloader. Do right click paste, fast boot, flash unlock token, um, all of that. You can copy and paste it. I'll have everything posted. So you can copy and paste on my site, onexroot.com. Hit enter, and you'll get this sign on your phone uh, unlock bootloader. Say yes, and hit the power button. And it will reboot, and your uh, bootloader should be unlocked now. So you're all good to go. Um, the next step is uh, we're going to have to put it back into uh, bootloader mode. So hold on, give it a second while this reboots. Now let me give you a little word uh, about the um, if you're in fast, uh, if you're doing one of these fast boot commands and it hangs or something, it says waiting waiting for device. Simply go back into device manager. Um, there's Oops, device manager. And there should be an option for um, Android 1.0 with the exclamation mark. Just upload it with the uh, MyACC drivers if that happens. And then Fastboot will go through. I just added that just in case you guys were having trouble. Um, next, my phone's booting all the way. Uh, it's all good. Just type uh, ADB um, reboot bootloader like that. Oops, sorry. Wait till it. <laughs> It uh, powers on. What you have to do is, since uh, when you unlock the bootloader, it's gonna erase all your settings and uh, all your photos. Or not all your photos, your settings and apps. Your photos still should be there, um, but back up everything beforehand just in case. And next, um, choose charge only, and then it's gonna ask you from the start. I'm just gonna skip through all this.
Next we're going to go back into uh, settings and uh, make sure um, the developer options are on. So we can move it into the settings and under developer options make sure USB debugging is checked on and hit OK. Alright and then type ADB reboot bootloader and uh, it will reboot into the bootloader. And there we go. And we're almost done. Bear with me here. And you'll notice that at the top it'll say unlocked and tampered. Um, don't worry about the tamper sign. You can always run RUU to get rid of that and also get it all back. I have instructions on my site at onexgroup.com. Um, so it should say fastboot USB there. And uh, next type um, fastboot uh, space flash space recovery space open recovery dash torp uh, dash two point one point seven dash avita dot img um, this will basically install uh, torp recovery where you can actually reboot your phone I hit enter and this is pretty much done let's go back to our phone since when we unlock the uh, bootloader it erased everything and even got rid of root we're gonna root it again and also show you the torp recovery so go ahead and go to bootloader, hit the power button, um, and uh, go to, down to recovery, and hit the power button. And now you should be in, uh, you should be able to boot into recovery. The reason why we unlock bootloader is to install the recovery, the torp recovery or custom uh, clockwork mount recovery. Um, without an unlock bootloader, you can't do that, so you can't, ins you can't install ROMs. All right, here we're gonna just do install and uh, go find the file you copied over at the way beginning of this video. Uh, for me, it's um, under downloads directory. I just put it there, and uh, you should be able to find that file you copied over in the beginning of the video. If you didn't, that's fine. You can just reboot into your phone, copy it over somewhere in the uh, internal storage um, of your phone. Hit that and swipe to confirm flash and you should get something like that um, mount, re mounting system removing old files whoa is that a scratch on my phone um, hold on <laughs> okay I'll have to check it um, so you should get that and then just hit reboot system now now you should have a fully rooted um, AT&T HCC 1X with the bootloader unlocked and also the custom recovery twerp installed uh, which is basically what you need to install new custom ROMs um, but I'm trying to find that scratch here I can't actually see it in real life my camera's just zoomed in and it's kind of picking up that but okay maybe that's not one hope yeah that wasn't a scratch it was just something else anyway I'll be back when this reboots so my phone rebooted um, you should be able to find a super SU now which means you're fully rooted again um, but now you have an unlock bootloader and uh, to install ROMs on this uh, ACC device it actually requires you to boot into fastboot from or boot into recovery from fastboot um, I'll have ins another instruction for that so don't don't go and just flash ROMs now because it's not gonna work um, you'll have to find uh, follow a certain method for installing ROMs for this phone so you have super SU run it once um, and uh, that's pretty much it and I'll, ha I'll go ahead and install uh, another ROM or a new ROM, custom ROM on here I'll have instructions for that uh, all at onexroot.com and also my YouTube channel um, Zito Max and High on Android uh, anyway that was how you do it if you got to this point congratulations um, now you can go ahead and run uh, download titanium backup again and uh, restore your titanium backup sign into gmail to get all your contacts back and also SMS text messages, you use the SMS text uh, backup and restore app um, from the Play Store. 
And uh, if you're using Google Voice uh, with a ported number like me, you don't even have to bother um, as it's all backed up in your Google Voice account. Anyway, thanks you guys for watching this video. That was kind of long, but um, I, I try to go slow so you can understand all the parts, trying to explain what you're really doing to the phone. And uh, if you like this video, um, please hit that like button if you're on uh, YouTube and also uh, subscribe button up there if you have. Thanks a lot. And use that share button to share this with your friends on Twitter, Facebook, or Google+. And uh, thanks, you, thanks you guys again for supporting my channel. And if you have an AT&T One X or uh, the international version, don't forget to sign up for my email list at onexroot.com. We update you once a week with ROM of the Week tips, hacks, and more like this. Um, and it's also a great way for you to get in contact with me via email if you need to. And uh, um, thanks again uh, for everybody. And uh, you guys stay high on Android. I'm going to go make more videos. Oh, yeah.